Ryan, Kyle, and Amy Buchanan of Kelowna love to look at family photos. Five-year-old Amy doesn't remember her baby days, or that she nearly lost her life at age 10 months, when she seemed to have the flu and her mother took her to the local hospital. The doctor came in and he said, your daughter is very ill. We'll do everything we can to get her through the night. And I'm sure the stunned look on my face, I just said, you need to keep keep talking, tell me what's going on. He said, she's, she has type one diabetes and she's very sick right now. The caregivers at Kelowna General Hospital, in consultation with BC Children's Hospital, worked quickly to save Amy's life. Then she was transferred to Children's Hospital and her parents were taught how to manage her illness. Diabetes is a 24-7 disease and it's, uh, you, you never leave it. It's a, it's a constant balance of managing food and exercise and her moods and her growth and, and just everything. Amy helps to monitor her own blood sugar levels. She does this up to eight times a day. Children's Hospital recommended that Amy start wearing an insulin pump, which delivers insulin right into her body and has greatly improved her overall health. Even at 3 a.m., Amy's father gets up and checks her blood sugar. Fortunately, even at this hour, the Buchanans can rely on Children's Hospital to help them right away if anything seems wrong with Amy. So many of the challenges that, uh, that happen with diabetes don't uh, occur during the nine to five working hours. So they occur sometimes uh, in the evening times, overnight, or first thing in the morning. So all of our patients do have access to 24 hour pager service ca uh, carried by one of our physicians to help them with uh, insulin adjustment or uh, sicknesses that may come up or problems with their insulin pump. We gotta go in there. Twice a year, Amy comes okay. down to Children's Hospital for a thorough checkup. The diabetes clinic here cares for 900 of the province's young diabetes patients, and the numbers are going up. Type 1 diabetes is increasing about 2 to 3 percent per year worldwide, um, and not only are we seeing more children with type 1 diabetes, but we're also seeing younger children like Amy, uh, who are developing diabetes earlier in life than, than uh, what I used to see when I started 15 years ago. Kids with type 1 diabetes used to lead very compromised lives. Today, thanks to research and improved care, Amy is healthy enough to be active at home and at school. And it happens that her twin brothers also have a strong connection to Children's Hospital. They were born at just 30 weeks gestation and spent their early days being cared for at Children's. If BC Children's Hospital had been there for our twins, um, I'm not sure we'd have twins. And, uh, for Amy, if they hadn't been there in that first uh, 24 hours, I'm not sure we would have Amy, so. The level of care that our entire family received when the boys were born, I just knew that's where we needed to be to know what we needed to do for Amy. And the care that she's received for the past five years has given me the strength to deal with it 24 hours a day. <laughs>